fish till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Hi everyone, today I'm interviewing Nate Moran, who is a mime and a current author for the Mime Speaks. Hi Nate, thank you for joining me today. Oh man, it's an honor, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here, you know, I'm honored to be on your show. Thank you so much. I'm going to go right into the questions to learn more about you. Why did you want to become a mime? You know what happened, I'm a veteran, and every year I get into a competition called the National Veteran Creative Art Festival, mm -hmm. and... 2011, I always compete dance. I'm a dancer, I was a baby, but I wanted to do something different in 2011. I remember when the great mind, my son, my soul, and Charlie Chapman, and all the greats, and I knew that song, Usher, that got my baby, and I wanted to do something different with it. You know, I wanted to bring that song to life from my competition. I knew this song like the back of my hand, so I went to Party City, and I bought some white paint, and you know, like makeup, and when I put it on my face, the day we were recording it for the, for the video, for the shoot, I felt something different, you know. Uh, I was like, oh, hold up, hold up. So I told Tracy, who was a music therapist, I said, make sure you don't miss anything, something, something about this one. And I literally felt my body leave me and step into the song. And after that, I've been hooked ever since, you know. It was like I brought the song to life, and I felt like, you know, I was brought back to life because, like, you know, I went through some struggles and homeless and stuff. So it was... I'm hooked. It's like, you know, you know, once you get that feeling, it's like, you know, you don't know you're calling. You don't know you're calling until you, it comes, it, 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 I guess it presents itself. So well, it's presenting myself with that. And now I'm hooked. Like since 2011, I've been doing mine since 2011, almost a decade now. Wow. That's a long time. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. And uh, thank you for your service as well. Oh, thanks for the support. <laughs> How did you come up with your um, slogan, Never Give Up? You know, it, it's in my book and stuff. I was a homeless veteran. Mm -hmm. Went through a lot of struggles in the streets. You know, I almost, you know, almost died and the whole everything else, as far as you can name. Went through a lot of stuff out there. And it was, you know, I went through all that. It's like, I feel like, nah, you, and now I'm back. I got another life. It's like, never give up. I, you know, I look at myself sometimes. And I thank God to give me another chance because, you know, everybody got a story. People got things they go through, young, old, whatever. You know, it doesn't matter your age. People have stuff they have to go through. And sometimes the pressure could be hard. Sometimes the pressure or what you're going through can, like, feel you make you want to give up. And no, I don't give up because I look at myself, man. If I gave up, I don't, I think I wouldn't be standing here, you know. So I'd rather keep pressing and I'll give me a chance. So I tell people all the time, never give up because, you know, while you're going through that storm or whatever you're going through at that time, it could be feel like it's wild as the end of the world or whatever the case may be. But if you keep pressing, if you keep going, there's a light that that tunnel for real because I'm I, I'm I see it for myself. To be honest with you, yeah. Yeah, we always have to continue fighting. What inspired you to create your um book? I got myself back together. I always say I want to write me a book. I said I want to do me a book. I want to do a book, and cause I want. I want to take my story and try to inspire people to never give up. You know, I want to let them know, you know, you think, you know, some bad times or whatever. Let me tell you my story. And by me not giving up, now I'm, I, God bless me to be an author, you know. So I wanted to tell my story, my experiences, and my good and bad, you know, mm -hmm. to inspire people to never give up. That's my thing. That's my slogan. You know, that's my, I, I live and bleed it. So I hope my book really reached like, a lot of people to the point that you know, I hope it's inspiring. Mm -hmm. And can you give us um, a little bit what's about your book? Can you tell us what it's about? Yeah, it's okay. Um, I'll give you the first in the beginning. You know, this is this is my book, yeah. Um, and uh, it, in the beginning, it, I'll tell you about my proc. I got a proclamation. I awarded a proclamation. Oh, well, and, congratulations. Oh, uh, thanks. Yeah. So that's, you know, it start off with the good, something good has happened, you know, and then it breaks down and tell you about, you know, the struggle that I had in the street, you know, you know, sometimes we make wrong decisions too as well, you know, and I have made wrong decisions and it end up in not as so pleasant that I, that I wanted to be, you know, so that's letting you know people, you know, we, we are human. We do make mistakes, you know, it's, but what you do with that mistake after you make it. You know, do you continue to make that same mistake or do you take the mistake and say, okay, I'll learn from it and keep moving, you know? And that's what my book is, is about all the mistakes I made. It's, it's about the people I've met who inspired me and who I, you know, who 
push me sometimes. They don't even they pushing me. Mm-hmm. You know, I was since through this travel, even I met your your fam, you know, your fam and you know, through this travel, I met a lot of great people, you know, who I would never dream of. Even when I was homeless, I met Neil, you know, um I met I didn't met Joe Petchy, I didn't met, you know, I can go on and on, you know. But it's this book is just to try to get people to let them know that you're one thing is bad. You, you can keep going and, and everything's going to be all right. Yeah, we always have to fight through everything. Yes. Um, so you're working with the Dragon Squads, and will your fans be able to see you in a movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be part of the Dragon Squad. It's called a film series that's going to be coming out. You know, I'm, I'm going to be a villain. You know, um, you know, I can't give all of the assassin, but, you know, it's like more like a martial art. Thriller and action pack. You know, we we meet every weekend. We got a lot of celebrities and a part of it. We got a lot of martial arts. I told him, I said, what, the, what I'm doing here? I don't know. <laughs> you know, I'm not. But they're using my mind and my dance and my and my, I guess my creativity to become the person that I'm being this middle. I'm I'm very honored. The Grandmaster Tyrone Bullock is the person who put this together, drew it up, produced it, writing and everything. He's he's I gotta give him a shout out. You know, he. You know, he's a very humble and great guy, you know, and, and I'm honored to be part of that, you know, film series. And I met a lot of great people so far as it went through. I met him. I do fashion shows as well. Mm-hmm. You know, I do all the events. Yeah, I do all the events. And I met him doing a fashion show, and we connected, and we've been together ever since. That's so cool. Can you give us a little bit, can you tell us, like, what the movie's a little bit about? Are you able to? Mm, you got good. Guys, bad guys. Um, let me see. You got the Dragon Squad is like a cleanup team. We're trying to help clean up the bad guys. You know what I mean? Um, type of thing. You know. Um, and it's gonna be. <laughs> you gotta watch it. You gotta get ready. Yeah. You know, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I don't want to. You know, I don't, don't want to get you like you got it. It's one of those. Get your popcorn. You know what I mean? Yep. Every series, every time it comes, get your popcorn, get your juices. Get your, if you know it come on eight o'clock and next fix or whatever, you get your get your popcorn, get your juices, get on the edge of your seat because you're not gonna be able to sit back. So you're gonna be watching going, what's happening? Even with the music, even the music, the theme music. I was like, man, I was sitting there, we were rehearsing. And it's like, wow, oh, I'll make me want to do my little dance every now and then, you know. But yeah, the music and everything, the action pack is gonna be amazing. That's cool. Do you know when the release date's gonna be, or you guys don't know the date yet? We don't have no date yet because with the virus is pushing a lot of states. I think stuff is back right now. Um, so we just rehearsing and getting the lines and getting uh, get everything together, you know, every week, you know, so until it, until we break off, you know, um, it's going to, we all excited about waiting for it. You know, we all like, yo, man, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait, you know, <laughs> but, you know, like every time, everything has a time, everything has a moment, you know, so and with the virus, you know, so it's helped pushing it back a little bit. But it's cool. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, can you tell me a little bit how you, like, make up your performance for when you go to events? How do I make my makeup? Yeah, like, how do you do you, do you have, like, a certain, like, routine? Do you have, like, a certain song that you always perform? Do you do different songs? I do different. I do mine off of all music, from gospel to R&B to country western to rap. My main thing is what I do even when I do mine. I don't. I don't do mine to disrespect the world or women. You know what I mean? It's just, I'm not going to put my signature on something that I'm not going to believe in. So each event that I do, first I find out what type of um, artist is having, what type of event it is, so I can know what type of song to bring for that event. You know, I didn't I didn't do weddings. I even did funerals, you know? So, you know, what, whatever I, I do, I'm available for all events, all events, you know? I, didn't, I did the Hamptons, I didn't perform the Hamptons for, my friend's pre-engagement, you know, to his wife, you know, and, you know, so I, I, I do a lot of events. So it depends on, depends on the event. And then I study the song. If I know, like I say, events to see somebody getting wet, getting married, mm-hmm. I would tell him, I say, give me your favorite song and I'm going to bring it to life. So I study that song and study that song and study that song and study that song for like months. If it depends on how much advance notice I get. And then I bring it to life as much as I can. That's so cool. Now, in every song, do you always show, like, Never Give Up? Or do you have, like, something that, like, you always, like, represents Never Give Up and you're on purpose? Oh, my hat. My hat. I got a If you saw my pictures, I don't know. I, my hat. I got a hat that I push all the time and never give up. Um, and if I don't have a hat, I try to bring a sign or something. Because regardless of what, you know, 
Like that song, The Greatest Showman. Yeah. Um, the Greatest Showman, you know what I'm talking about? That Broadway show? Um, yeah. I love that song because it's telling people, don't run away, just be you. Accept me for who I am, and this is who I am, and, and this is me. You know, that's why I like This Is Me, that song, This Is Me. And yeah. and that song alone, with, you know, it screaming chills go through me because I love it because I'm I'm all about people being you, you being yourself, you know, and, and get with the world or somebody's my thing. You still got to be you because you're unique. You know what I mean? People are unique. And everybody is, you know, if everybody was the same, it would be boring. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's what I, I push that never give up with everything I try to do. Where can we buy your book? On Amazon. You you look on, um, you go The Mind Speaks, mm -hmm. Amazon, and you see the pictures and you see my not my, my makeup and non makeup and and it's, it pops right up. It was crazy. I Google myself and see what's happening. You know, the first week it, it blew me away. Um, the first week I made number one best number one bestseller in new release in dance. And I'd be like Elton John. I was like, wow, you know. Wow, that's so cool. Congratulations. Yeah, man. It blew me away. I had to keep. I said, "This thing right? Is it right?" You know, I had to keep going back to it. I yeah. googled it back again to see. Yeah, my publisher called me and said, "Nate, guess what? You made number one new release in the first week. It wasn't even the whole complete week." And I was like, "Wow!" Wow, that's so cool. Well, I can't wait to read your book, and um, I can't wait to read. I would love. What to do you What do you enjoy doing? What's your What's your enjoyment? I mean, yeah, let me ask you. Um, I enjoy um, doing YouTube. I've started YouTube. I've been doing this for almost two years already. So I really yeah. like it and I've learned how to, I've interviewed like a couple of brands before and I just like showing what I do at home because I figured, well, if everyone else is doing it, then I can show what I'm doing because I play a lot of sports. I play lacrosse and field hockey. I'm really big into lacrosse as a goalie. So that's kind of like a hard position to play. So I like showing how I perform in my games, how to learn from that. And I just like doing like the social media aspects of um, everything. That's what's up. It's your passion. That's something you enjoy, right? Yeah, definitely. You know, I always tell people, you know, because I work with youth out here in Pennsylvania. I, mm -hmm. I, I got a five-year contract. I teach with youth, and we, I teach them mime, and we do different events. and So, but we haven't, because of the virus, we haven't had time. I miss it. Because yeah. I miss the youth. I miss working with them, you know, and it's like, cause we can learn from each other. I learn a lot from them, you know, it's like, when I, it's like it's a whole other world when you step into their, their platform. And, you know, I would tell people, make sure you always have something you enjoy doing, part of your life, even if it's just for you, you know, There's reading, writing, whatever the case may be. And that's like your trump card, you know, that's your, that's, that's, it gets you, no matter what, if you had to go through something, you say, no, let me go and mess with my, let me mess with my YouTube. Let me, you know what I mean? That gets you through your day. Yeah, definitely. Well, I want to thank you for coming on to my channel and um, you are available for events. So um, you have a website where we can book events, right? Yes, my website you put on for natedemind.com. Okay, sounds good. Yes. So I'll definitely leave all your contact information in the description box down below. Do you have any social media that you would like to um, shout out and I'll put it in the description box down below as well? Yeah, well, well my Facebook is Nate Moran. Okay. Uh, my Instagram is still Nate the Mime, but when it, when you pull up Nate the Mime, it's still gonna say Nate Moran in the bar. But that's where I started with. I guess it still came back to it. And I had Twitter, but I forgot to tweet. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, I I even got on TikTok. I did TikTok. Oh, Nate really? the Mime. So cool. Yeah, what happened? You know, when the virus kicked, I was like, man, I missed the stage. I missed performing. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do? And I got into TikTok, so I went in my garage and. Got my little curtain up, you know, and maybe a little stage and everything. I started doing TikTok, something to, you know, so so I can keep going. So I can, I miss that. I miss that, you know. Yeah. So I I, I started doing TikTok, but I haven't done in a while but, um, now because a lot of doors are still opening up, and I'm like interviews and doing different things. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking about it. I gotta I gotta do another TikTok. I gotta get out. So TikTok yeah. is native mind too as well, you know. All right, sounds good. I mean, I do TikTok as well because even though I'm not a great dancer, I still like doing something and it's fun you know with this virus i definitely picked it up because i wasn't having much to do and i definitely love tiktok <laughs> yeah that's cool i know they got some stuff you get you get hooked right yeah you definitely. Like, oh, hold you hold hold hours <laughs> i know you can get on there and start looking like wait hold up God, God, i gotta go somewhere you know what i mean yeah definitely <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs>
<laughs> wow, you, you, you're a great interviewer. I really enjoy the energy, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm honored again to be on your show. You know, thank you very much. You know, reach out to me anytime with anything. You know, y'all reach, y'all, y'all reach out anytime. You know, yeah, seriously. Well, so after your movie releases, I'll definitely want to interview again to see your movie um, experience. So that would be really cool if you're available to do that. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you. I'm in another movie coming out called Keys, mm -hmm. and I'm in another movie coming out. Where's it? Hold up, I'm getting old now. Yo, let me get fair with me. <laughs> you know, amnesia just come from nowhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I'm looking right at that. I'm looking at the picture. It's crazy. It's, I can see the picture in my face. You know how you see the name of the movie? Yeah. You know, wow! Don't you have Oh, Dust Nuggets. Okay. The Dust Nuggets. The Dust Nuggets is a group. They made a movie about a group and had this, they told a story. And I'm part of it. I'm as an extra in it. But you see me in the front screaming and laughing and hollering. And so I'm in the Dust Nuggets as well. You know. So a lot of stuff going on and having fun. You know. It's like I said. I got to keep that trunk. It keep me young. It keep me going. And I enjoy it. I'm, I'm meeting people like you, you know, so every door, every, every door is a blessing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I think it's awesome to be in a movie. You probably jumped to that for your whole life. And now since you're finally here, you're probably like, wow, like you're so surprised that you're actually able to live your dream. I know, man. It, it, honestly, it is, you know, all of this, all this, this whole thing, that all this stuff is coming. Everything is happening to me. Mm -hmm. It's like I never dreamed of it. So I'm so thankful for it. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. I'm thankful for everything that's happening with me. You know, we even the good, even the bad. You get thankful because that makes you speak stronger. You know, you're like, okay, that was a, that was a good lick. You know, I'm like a time agent. But that old saying, I don't know, you know, what the old saying said, you take a lick and then keep on ticking. Mm -hmm. That's you know, it's, you take that lick and then you keep on. It's like, okay, that was pretty good. I, was, I, I handled that one, so I know I'm doing the next one. Yep. That's amazing. Well, I'm going to end this um, interview off, and I want to say that you're such an inspiration to everyone, and I want to thank you for coming on to my show and letting me interview you. And we're going to sign off by saying your slogan, never give up. Are you ready? All right. Ready? Let me ready. Ready? One, two, three. Never give never up. Never give up, and always take a minute to smile. Yes. Thank you so much for letting me interview you, and I can't wait for you to see the video. Oh, thank you. I can't wait to see it. Thank you. I enjoy it. Thank you.